What's up YouTube, Winterguard here. So today I decided to take the Sork out for a spin. I leveled this character up mainly to be a key farmer for doing community torches basically. Uh, always need keys to get the, get the uh, torches rolling so uh, I got this uh, character leveled through uh, just to do that but I've always enjoyed chaos and seal popping so I decided to take her for a spin. Do 100 seal popping runs to just see what we can get. Uh, it turned out better than expected considering this character's uh, gear. So we're going to show that real quick and then just get into a quick compilation of what happened and do a little recap at the end. But uh, gear wise, the character is outside of this one item. I did make a Hodo. I did find the Vex room for the Hodo doing countish runs for the keys. So that all kind of pulled together in itself. But um, we do have the Hodo, but outside of that, the gear's not that great. Uh, Peasant Crown, I got an anti-perfect uh, Viper. Uh, Seraphs, it just happened to drop randomly. I just using it for the plus two skills. Uh, Spirit Monarch, I got some Chanseys. Just some random FCR rings, uh, towels, and some Marowaks that I happened to pop somewhere. I don't even remember where. So basically, that's my setup. It's not that great, but here's the thing, and for everybody that knows in Season 2, this is where things uh, make a difference. We got the the uh, Cold Sunder, which for Cold Sork just makes everything die just ex extremely quick. So I'm going to show you the build real quick, just see how I paired this up. This is not a straight Blizzard setup. Uh, I went main damage being frozen orb just because of the mobility for me I like it a little better and blizzard on secondary so basically what I do is cast blizzard spam orb uh, the stack damage is really nice and if you max cold mastery then the cold immunes bring being broken down to 95 uh, basically drop below uh, zero as far as resistances so cold just is super powerful right now even like I said with Outside of the Hodo, this gear is really budget, if I can hit the right button. Um, if you look at the rest of the gear, this is pretty basic. Uh, the charms are kind of whatever. I think I ended up maybe fine. Yeah, I find a couple of magic find charms, but uh, magic find overall with this character is 84. So, not that great, but... Uh, with seal popping, magic find doesn't make a difference. It's it's about the speed. So uh, let's get into that. We'll do the compilation real quick. If you enjoyed this type of video, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, we're just at the beginning of the season, so we'll be pumping out a few more like this. This is actually my first item finding, gear running video of the uh, season two. So let's get into it, and we'll do a quick little recap at the end.
uh, as you can see, that was actually pretty successful. We pulled the job rune. Uh, that was actually on a seal pop as well, so that's actually kind of was my goal to see if we could pop some runes or some random gear. Uh, as you can see also, and I didn't say this in the intro, but my magic find actually included the geeds that I have. So if you subtract that 23 from my initial total, uh, I was only act actually running 61 magic find when we first started this. So magic find, pretty negligible, and we did okay for 100 runs. If you're seal popping, I feel like initially with this gear setup, you could probably seal pop in about a minute and a half. Uh, two minutes if you're being careful because you are relatively squishy still. So, you know, three or four hours of running. Uh, we pulled a jaw rune, so you can't complain about that. Uh, I feel like seal popping in general is a lot faster with the lightning spec. So there's that as well. You could probably get your, get your times down to maybe even around a minute if you're running lightning. But, you know, we're at the beginning of the season. But we are now halfway to an Enigma, which is my plan for my Barbarian, which is going to be my main Magic Find character. Uh, I'm working on some Trav runs now with him, and we'll be putting a compilation to get together for that here shortly. But uh, uh, we'll leave it here for now. Again, if uh, you haven't seen my previous video, uh, if you want to join the community, that's... I think kind of the best way to go forward this season. If you could just would get with a group of, of people, you could probably get your gear up a little quicker. If you're playing solo cell, fine. Uh, I totally respect that. That's how I played last season. Um, but uh, for this season, I decided to do more group uh, runs with the community. So we got really geared up, well, pretty quick this season. We're at the point of this video where not quite two weeks in so this is where we're sitting at the two-week point but anyways uh, i appreciate you, appreciate you guys uh watching the video if you enjoy this type of thing give me a like uh discord links in the com in the description if you want to join the community but we'll leave it here you guys have a great day keep on farming